Hi, Candy. It's Michelle. How are you? I feel like I know you all, even though I don't ever see you. Um, so anyway, I am going to do this little screen recording to see if I can be of help. Um, so this is module two. This is your portfolio piece submission. And um, let me see. It will not let me change where I am on this page. Ah. Ah, here we go. Sorry about that. You can see that we instructors have fun with Blackboard too, just like you do. <laughs> okay, so this um, is your second portfolio piece, and you may have noticed that in the portfolio you have something called resource collection items. So for this particular resource collection, I have seen probably hundreds of binders with these in them, and when I score them, I am looking for them to be activities that, number one, are appropriate to the age of the CD you're going for. So if you're doing infant toddlers, this should be very simple things that you would do with infants and toddlers. Very simple things, not complicated activities. And if you're doing preschool, still simple. Um, maybe a with a little more materials, but still very simple. Um, these are young children. So you're not, the main thing I see candidates doing with this as an assignment when I'm teaching the class in person or um, this way is that the candidates will go and Google some lesson ideas and get activities and just cut and paste them in and then when I go through them, I have to say that's actually not appropriate for this age. The second thing that I find is if it's age appropriate, I find that it's something they've cut and pasted but not actually done. And when I read it, I can say because I was a teacher for 40 years, this is not something that would work in a group of toddlers or a group of preschoolers. <laughs> So I would really question whether it had been done. Um, so you want to think about things you've actually done and then just list them. Um, you don't have to come up with fancy lessons or anything like that. So you notice here bird feathers. The kids are just playing with bird feathers and um, the teacher is doing a matching game. Um, young, in, young infants, um, you're just you know, playing dress up with the kids and acting like a character in a book. It's very simple. So this gives you an idea of each area up here, science, sensory. So if you're doing infants and toddler, you want to focus on sensory. Sensory activity is science. You could just have water play, for example. It, ha it can be that simple. Language and literacy, it can just be a book that you're gonna read and then do puppets with or something. So all of these things um, have to be covered. So that's part one of this particular portfolio piece. Then you're gonna go back over into um, your competency statements and that's part two here. So you might remember you had to write a statement. These competency statements are really just that. When I read them in your portfolio, I want to know that you can state something that allows me to know that you are competent in this area. So you would choose one of these from your collection and then say, how does this experience reflect your philosophy of how to support young children's development physically and then cognitively and then creatively? Um, and then at the very end, you're going to do a, um, again, I'm trying to get this to move and it will not let me. So, um, but you can see down below, it asks for an additional paragraph about um, dual langu language learners and communication. So you really are just first showing the activities and then showing how they reflect your philosophy. 
So it's really good if you've actually done these things that you're listing so that you can say, I did this to support, say you're doing water and physical development. You know, how does that support your philosophy? Well, if your philosophy is that children need to um, be hands-on with things in order to develop properly physically, then that would fit your philosophy. If your philosophy of cognitive development is that children need to be allowed to just explore materials and that will naturally develop their brains and their thinking ability, then you putting out um, you know, a bucket of blocks would qualify for that because the children will pull them out and explore with them. Um, so I'm hoping this helps you a little bit. Let me know if not. Um, and I'll keep trying.